What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So we are about to nip a situation in the bud that has been irritating the crap out of me since I started doing YouTube and that is copyright. I am so tired of people coming on my channel and telling me, stop muting the video. Fan made videos don't get copyrighted. You're ruined it. Look, fan made videos do get copyrighted. I get copyrighted all the damn time. It never fails. I could speed it up. I could slow it down. I could chop it, screw it. I can put that long ass fucking disclaimer of I do not own this music or copyright you know that long ass description where you gotta say you don't own the copyright music it does not matter okay they will still copyright your ass they will still block the video I get so many videos not even music related I get my glee videos sometimes they get copyrighted or blocked and it, and, and it could be a video of no one singing it could be no music it's just that for some reason the bots on youtube or disney because disney is the one who claims or blocks the videos so it's just it's super duper random where i will get a video that's not even like music related blocked or copyrighted but i have addressed this many and many a times i've shown screenshots receipts and i still get those people who come on my channel and they complain about me either muting it or editing it out I have to do that. Otherwise, the shit either gets blocked or copyrighted or even worse, I will get a strike on my channel and I don't want to strike on my channel because you want to listen to the music. If you want to listen to the music so bad, go look at the original video. So we are going to hop into this video by D Chanel. This one is how copyright actually works. She is going to explain it for you and then I'm going to show you some proof, more proof because people just seem to not believe that you get copyrighted and blocked for some odd reason. We're gonna talk about it at the end of the video. So without further ado, guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video, so let's go. How is up, y'all? What's poppin'? So I just wanna make this video. This is an informative video, and this is also to help people who have asked me about copyright issues who want to start a YouTube channel or who have already started a YouTube channel and they keep getting copyrighted. They ask me what's up with that, all that. This is also for you guys as viewers because way way too many of y'all be commenting on copyright situations when y'all be wrong about don't be knowing what the hell they talking about it's really annoying because it you is. can fuck up somebody's channel you can fuck up somebody's money by giving them false copyright information Thanks. and a lot of y'all be wrong as shit y'all spreading information in the comments and other people see y'all comments and for some reason they take that as fact and they're spreading on other people's channel thank you yeah, just chill all right because y'all got the wrong information so <laughs> let me help y'all give y'all some information with some receipts i'm gonna show y'all some screenshots okay. so y'all can actually know how this copyright shit works okay first and foremost pausing does shit nothing. i might not have I to show y'all people say hey d react to music videos they don't get copyrighted if you pause it pausing don't do shit okay <laughs> i've been reacting to videos since 2016 y'all don't think i've tried that several times i've tried Damn. pausing it many different times i tried putting fucking voice filters over it i tried mm -hmm. putting filters over, over the actual uh visual so that mm -hmm. it changes the way it looks a little bit i, I tried speeding the video up i tried slowing it down <laughs> none of that works youtube has very advanced sophisticated technology Lots. it picks all that shit up yep. pausing does nothing i also talk to a lot of reactors i know a lot of reactors mm. we talk about these things they complain about this shit all the time and they're pausing their videos they are still getting copyrighted. The reason why you see it so often is because it's like the norm now. People pause their videos so that they can contribute more to the content. And they're not putting up that many videos. So it's like, hey, I'm only putting up one video every couple days, every few days, once a week. You know, people got different schedules. Sure. <laughs> it's like, I might as well contribute more. I might as well be more interactive. So that's why you see that being the norm. They are not doing that to avoid copyright. Trust me, they are still getting copyrighted. I know that for a fact. So stop telling people if they pause the video, they won't get copyrighted. That is false. Also, for some reason, people think that if you stay within a certain time frame, you won't get copyrighted. No, Maybe you don't. When you react to this, you won't get copyrighted if you keep it less than 10 seconds. No. Oh, just let the audio play for 10 seconds. Where do y'all be getting this shit from? No, this is false. Where do y'all get this stuff? <laughs> I have gotten copyrighted for content for three oh my God. seconds. I will show y'all a screenshot. I'm copyrighted right now for a video for three mm -hmm. seconds five seconds mm -hmm. six seconds 
It does the not matter shit. how long it is. If YouTube picks it up, that shit is getting copyrighted, okay? And I've even saw people say, hey, D, these music uh, compilations that you react to, they haven't long enough just so you won't get copyright. They, they picked out the right amount of time so you won't get copyright. Where did y'all, who told y'all this? Who told y'all these lies? Again, I'll show y'all a screenshot. The shit gets copyright. Four seconds. Five seconds. This shit is getting copyright, okay? These music compilations that y'all see, they are not getting paid. They're not getting Thank no you. money. Y'all think they're getting paid. They are not. And some people have the misconception Damn. and think that, oh, if you check the description and you see that, it, that there's something there, that's how you know they got copyrighted. Again, false. It is not always there. I have videos that are copyrighted right now, and it don't say nothing in the description about it being copyrighted. That is not a good indication. A lot of these people who are making these music compilations, they are not getting any money. That is why I mute videos a lot. That is why I cut videos a lot, because I want my coin, okay? Okay. I want my money. <laughs> Another misconception. People think that only music is copyrighted. Mm. This is not the case. I will show you more Thank you. Skits get copyrighted. Yes. People's content from their channels get copyrighted. They may be working with the network that copyrights all their shit. Nicole TV has copyrighted her shit. That's why I have not reacted to her in a while. Her regular videos begin. And also, too, I want to say, you know that song not the bang yang i don't want to say too much because i watched a video with um you know like a little clip or whatever it was a meme and that song was in the video and the entire video got copyrighted just because of that song the gorilla glue girl song or whatever uh it don't move it don't move that shit gets copyrighted too like it's 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 so petty like it's well, annoying Dolan Twins did this. I told y'all about this years ago. I was like, oh, I'm done with them. So <laughs> not just music gets copyrighted. Instagram lives get copyrighted. Damn. IG lives get copyrighted. That's 6 9 live video. I didn't that know I that. The reaction to that, that shit got copyrighted. I had to cut that up. That's why I cut it up is because it kept getting copyrighted. Um, DC yeah. Young Fly, him and Emmanuel talking about the situation with Spoken Reasons. That shit got copyrighted. If you go and watch that video now, a portion of that is cut out now because it got copyrighted. So it's not just music. All type of shit gets copyrighted. And when I say copyrighted, I'm not referring to a copyright strike. Those are two completely different things. When you get copyrighted, it just means that you are not being paid for that video. That mm -hmm. revenue is now going to the original content creator. So when you get a strike, that's something entirely different. That's usually when you know people want to take extreme measures and get your video taken down. Mm -hmm. People usually don't do that. It is very rare. Unless it's from one of these big ass companies. They don't give a fuck. Like anime companies, they will strike you in a heartbeat. WWE, if you're reacting to their complete like matches, they will strike you in a heartbeat. It's a lot of people. I got a claim. I haven't gotten a strike though. Time, but these are usually like the big businesses. Usually, Knock on wood. regular <laughs> creators, they don't usually strike reaction channels like that. Um, it happens sometimes. It has happened to me a couple times actually. Um, but it was it's usually people who I barely ever react to. I don't ever react to their shit. Um, but they just randomly strike me out the blue i'll never forget b's uh copyright strike me when Ooh. i was with my ex making videos and it was so weird we reacted to one of his videos like several months prior and then out the blue he just sent us a copyright strike and it's like bro we don't even watch your shit like that so it's just like sometimes <laughs> you'll get those one-off situations that are weird and people will just randomly strike you instead of hitting you up and saying hey take my video down but yeah that's few and far in between for the most part, people don't really care that you react to their shit. It's, it's real lax now. There are a lot of reactors on YouTube. They don't normally care. But if they do care, they'll strike you. And if you get three strikes, you out. Not really, though, because I've had three strikes before. <laughs> it's Ooh, actually really? not the end of the world. You can get shit retracted. You can reach out to YouTube. There are things to be done. That's another story. I don't even but anyway, go that far. for the most part, <laughs> you want to avoid strikes. But copyrighted and copyright strike, two different things. Oh, also something I see all the time that is super annoying. And it's like, what are you talking about? How would you even know this? People will be like, oh, how come when you react to this, you get copyrighted, but such and such reacts to it and there's not a problem or they reacted to it and it's not an issue. First off, you wouldn't know if they got copyrighted. How the fuck would you how do know, know this if they get paid for their video or not? Again, it's not always in the description. It does not always pop up. Matter of fact, most of the time it doesn't. So you would never know if a nigga is getting paid for his video or not. So you don't know if that shit is copyrighted. So you can't be like, oh, how come you get copyrighted and such and such don't? And this, this person don't, and they ain't got no problem. 
They probably is getting copyrighted. Chances are them niggas are getting copyrighted. They're not, they're not getting paid for that shit. They just putting it up to put it up. Also, Okay, it is one thing though that I do not understand with this whole shit because I will see someone react to a video and then I would react to it. Like I've seen people react to, uh, I had to, I recently did a Selena video, like one of her performances or whatever. And I've seen other people react to that same video, but for some reason my shit got blocked. I don't know. It's just like, it's YouTube. It's, it's a gamble. Like it's so weird, but yeah. So honestly, it just comes down to bias or chance or something because there are situations That's what where I just my said. video has gotten striked <laughs> and the other person's video is still up mm -hmm. and nothing has happened to it. So it's mm -hmm. just like, and you know that if somebody got striked for a video because if you get a strike, it's taken down. It's no longer there. So yeah. that person will have their whole video still up and I'm just like, how did you get through? I get copyrighted. For example, Tokyo Ghoul in five minutes. The person who made that video they don't own Tokyo Ghoul. Right. They made that video. They shit is still up. I reacted to that video and I got a copyright strike for it. And I'm like, how does how does that make any sense? They created the video. They made the parody. Exactly. And they shit still up. Like, so I don't know if it's a bias. I don't know <sighs> if it's just by chance and they somehow picked up on mine. They just haven't picked up on theirs. I don't know if they got some type of deal with them. I don't fucking know the inner workings of that or why that happens. But sometimes that will happen where my shit will get blocked and somebody else react to the same shit and they shit did get blocked. Their video's still up. I don't know why that happens. Exactly I what I just said. YouTube. I cannot speak on that. So y'all can go talk to them niggas at YouTube. I don't know what's going on with that. But for the most part, when you're thinking that, oh, this YouTuber don't have copyright problems, chances are they've gotten copyrighted. They're yeah. just not getting paid for that. They're just putting it up. I have people who hit me up all the time and are like, hey, I'm putting up all these videos and they keep getting copyrighted. What do I do about it? So some people just are putting up videos just to put them up. They're getting copyrighted, but they keep putting it up. Like I said, I know reactors who put up videos that keep getting copyrighted, but they put them up anyway. They yeah. complain about it. So it's not like they cool with it or they just doing it for y'all because they love y'all so much. No, they complain about it. They keep trying to pause it and keep trying to get around it, but that shit keep getting copyrighted. So they're still putting the videos up, but that don't mean that they not getting copyrighted just because you can still see their video. So stop saying, oh, this person ain't got no problem or how can they react to it with no issue? The niggas are having issues. They're getting copyrighted. They ain't getting paid for it, all right? That's the issue. And the last thing I'll address is this goddamn link in the description conversation. <laughs> See that all the time too. Hey D, when you react to such and such, put their link in the description. I don't hey do D, nothing. it's real 85. He had a problem with people because they weren't putting a link in the description. Put that link in the description. Link in the description don't mean shit. These creators don't give a fuck about no link in the description. They don't care about that. Either they have a problem with you reacting to their shit, or they don't. I have been reacting to videos again since 2016. <laughs> Not one time has someone said, That's a lot oh, of videos. it's cool if you react to my video, but just put the since link in the 2016? description. 2016? Nobody has ever said that. It's always, I don't want you reacting to my shit. I don't like reaction channels. I don't want them profiting off the content that I created. Don't react to my stuff. Or it's, I don't give a fuck, you can react to it. I don't care, and they don't say shit. It's, it's one or the other. It is never, okay, react to it, but put the link in the description. Like, <laughs> what does that even do? Like, you literally say who the person is, you know what video I'm reacting yeah. to. Sometimes I'll even have their name in the title, but if it's not yeah. in the title, I say it at the beginning of every video. I use their exact same title, so there's no confusion about who I'm reacting to. Take your lazy ass to the fucking YouTube <laughs> server and look up their video. It's gonna be the first one that pops up because it's that goddamn video. It's not that hard to find and people know that who makes videos. These creators know that so they don't give a fuck about no link in the description. So stop telling niggas, hey, when you react to stuff, put the link You know what, now that I think about it, I had somebody say something to me about saying who the creator was and I told they asked, like, look at my, cause I link, I don't care. I'm just gonna link it anyways cause I just feel like that's the right thing to do. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put the original creators link in the description just just because but i had somebody come on my channel at, uh saying that i should say who was by or whatever whatever the fuck they said and i said look in my description and they deleted their comment like shut shut up I put a link in the description shut up you just want it there because your lazy ass don't want to look up the video it takes two seconds to type in what the fucking name of the video is or just copy <laughs> and paste it it's not that difficult but these creators i don't give a fuck about that not 
ever has anybody said, hey, put my link in the description. Ooh, I'm lying. This has happened one time. Oh, okay. And the funny <laughs> part about it is this person fucking made a compilation of, of other people. It wasn't even their own content. <laughs> this person was making like celebrity compilations or some shit and was like, oh, can you put my link in the description? It's like, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing all that. Shut your ass up. You making a compilation <laughs> of other people's work and here you go trying to come at me talking about put, put the link to my work in the description. Nigga, this ain't your work. You taking this from somebody else too. <laughs> You're making fucking celebrity compilations. Like what? Are you making funny compilations? This ain't your shit. So no, I'm not crediting you because this is not your work to credit. What are you talking about? So yeah, that's the only time it's ever happened is from a compilation channel. And they can't copyright you or strike you because they don't own the fucking content. So it's nothing they can do. Um, but yeah, as far as creators, mm -hmm. that's never happened. They've never just told me, hey, put my link in the description. It's either fuck out of here, don't react to my shit. I don't fuck with reactors. Again, that don't even happen ever anymore. That used to be the case. More so in 2016 when I first started, there were a couple people who did it. Now it like never happens. I never get hit up by uh, creators who are just like, hey, don't react to my shit or who are sending me uh, strikes or takedown notices. For the most part, they don't care. Or honestly, a lot of them look at it as exposure. So they're they're cool with it. They don't give a fuck. Um, that's all the info I got to give for today. Hopefully this was helpful. You know, for people who are trying to react to videos, long story short, it ain't shit you can do about copyright, all right? I just recommend that you stay away from music videos, you stay away from anime, you stay away from shit that gets copyrighted all the time, and you good to go. But, you know, a lot of this shit be getting copyrighted. My fucking compilations be getting copyrighted. I be having to trim mm -hmm. all type of shit. Cut this out, mute this. That's why I do what I do, because copyright is real, real prevalent in these reaction streets, all right? And I'm trying to make a living. But in the end, it's not really much you can do, all right? You just gotta be careful about what you react to as you're reacting to shit over time you'll get a better idea of okay this type of content is less likely to get copyrighted this type of content gets copyrighted all the time okay let me stay away from that type of content it just comes down to that anyway hopefully this video was helpful i hope some of you out there who are constantly trying to very helpful thank you very much hope you got the facts right <laughs> on this video so that you can stop spreading the lies that you tell um, yeah, that's about it, and I'll see Stop you spreading the video. lies that you tell. But no, for real though, like everything she said, I don't even have to show screenshots because everything she said in the video is pretty much what I have experienced. The only thing that she did not touch on um, is singing lyrics. Like even, even singing lyrics would get your shit copyrighted as well. All right, so I know I said I wasn't gonna show any receipts, but I just wanted to show you guys how even singing lyrics can get copyrighted as well at the end of a recent video i just did i was singing um, michael jackson's rock with you and they copyrighted me singing the lyrics i only probably said like maybe eight to ten words out of that song and yeah they copyrighted that i just recently did a video about rdc world one the um video game house video and the Mario music, the, the Mario theme music got copyrighted. So this copyright shit is very tricky, but it gets like extremely annoying. Like imagine somebody coming into your job. You've been working at this job for however amount of time. And imagine a new person coming in and telling you how to do your job. Like shut the hell up. Like I know what I'm doing. Like you don't have to tell me how to do this. But yeah, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye.